playing the estranged husband, John, and uh, he's made, well, I think he's made a bit of a mistake, and he's having a probably a midlife crisis, which we men sometimes do have. I think he's having a little look at what he's done and whether the right thing to do, and I think he might be asking some questions of himself to see whether he can get back on the right track. Hands went up to her face, and she was lost in the, oh, the jacket, oh, my goodness. You know, it really has made such a mark on, on the girls that you know, read the magazine those years ago. But boys had no one to um, help them with their problems, did they? Not at all. Um, we didn't have a Cathy or a Claire to write to. I think we just stumbled our way through our teenage years, making those mistakes that the girls didn't because they'd had the advice. And, uh, <laughs> Um, it was very much to their advantage, I think. Very early on, I knew that's what I wanted to do um, in some capacity. I basically just knew I wanted to show off, I think. That people will remember you from, of that era, mm. um, was in Bread. You played Joey. I did, I, yes. I was the, the second, or was I say, I was the last Joey. I took over from Peter, yes. Um, and at the time, it Thinking back now, and it's a good 20 years ago now, but uh, because I'd taken over roles in the theatre quite a lot, because that's what you do in musicals, you, unless you're the originator, you take over. It wasn't the huge shock to me to take over a role on a TV show that everybody else was going, <gasps> you know, and I think I, uh, there was a healthy dose of uh, naivety and being probably a little green, uh, not quite understanding how huge it was at the time. I mean, it was six o'clock news, you know, on, on, on Wogan's sofa the day it was announced. It was, looking back now, it, it's a, obviously a different time in television, but um, great memories, very happy memories of, of, of that time. It was very sexy, that wasn't it, all that leather? It was very hot, I'll tell you, in the summer, never mind sexy. I didn't feel very sexy, but, you know, I'll take it, thank you, Neil. <laughs> um, and uh, a, a couple of... Uh, Ladies of a certain age called me over while we were sort of having a break and said, uh, is this the new series, Bread, that you're filming? And I said, oh, yes, it is, yes. Are you going to watch it? Oh, yes, yes. She said, oh, we're so glad you've come back because the new Joe is awful. <laughs> I mean, the 70s were the most, Im most important of my decade because it was when I left school and then by the end of the 70s, I'd started work. You know, I was in the business, so that... That decade is such an important decade for me, and it's when I really started to enjoy and discover what sort of music I was going to enjoy. 70s pop is it. Nina, I couldn't possibly tell you what I got up to in the 70s. Loons were those huge, big trousers that ended up covering your platform boots. That was cool, to have frayed loons with, you know, and stupidly tight, stupidly tight. I had my platform boots that went up to my knee, and I kept them for ages and ages.